A homeless shelter in Pocatello is hosting its 17th annual awareness encampment. Local News 8's Noah Farley visited the shelter to find out more about it. Imagine sleeping overnight in cardboard shelter you built yourself in the recent low temperatures. That's exactly what Aid for Friends is inviting volunteers to do this weekend, to raise awareness and funds for the homeless in East Idaho. After volunteers build a shelter out of cardboard boxes, they'll sleep in it overnight. They will be provided with food, a burn barrel, and a training on how to stay safe and warm during the night. Tammy Moore, the shelter manager at Aid for Friends, shares how the encampment benefits the community. Not only do we get to uh, fill and, and uh, experience what they have to experience if they're left out in the cold, but we also get to see what our town would experience if there was no shelter for them to go to. The event helps people who have homes realize just how fortunate they are. Jessica Buckley, the access point coordinator for Aid for Friends, shared her experience when she first took part in the shelter's second awareness encampment. When I got cold, I had the privilege to be able to run back home and grab some extra supplies or to run to the store and grab a little bit heavier duty pair of gloves um, that other people don't have that. And when I was freezing, I could go in my car and warm up for a few minutes. And I couldn't imagine not having that escape. And it, it, it really touched my heart. Porch.com says Idaho ranked as having the 16th largest homeless population in the country. In January 2023, the Boise Homeless Coalition found almost 3,000 people in Idaho are homeless. That's why Aid for Friends wants to help and spread awareness. We're not pretending like this is an exact replica of an experience that someone homeless goes through, um, but it gives us a taste. And it's a very humbling, very special experience. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Noah Farley. If you'd like some more information about the encampment, you can visit this story on our website, localnews8.com.